Yesterday I told, explained, Jug Dharma Pravartamu Nam Sankhtam Chari Bhav Bhakti Gya Nacha Mutra Bhuvan Adi Tritir 19 Here are two things. First, Jugudharma Pravartamu Nam Sankrita. I will uh, preach Nam Sankrita. And secondly, I will give this to Bhav Bhakti. four kinds of Dasya Shakta Vatsal Lain Madhuri I and then all will dance by these things Jukudharma is Nam Shankrita for all Kali Yuga for all the but Chaitan, if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has not come, in other Kali Yugas, we will stand up, we will see all of them, we will see all of them, then who will, who will, do the Yuga Dharma? Who will? Set or establish Yuga Dharma? In other Kali Yugas, where there is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Vishnu. Who Vishnu? Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu. Like Yuga Avatar. Yuga Avatar. So also there is a, another shape of uh, 
Krishna, we will do this, establish this Yuga Dharma. But actually he is Mahavishnu, Advaita Charchi. He will establish Yuga Dharma. So, in this very Kali Yuga, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended to this world, he is also establishing Yuga Dharma. But actually he is not doing, in him there is Mahavishnu, that is Advaita Chaya. Now he is separate and doing all these things, Nam Sankirtan. But we see that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu preaching name, that is Yuga Dharma. But a special thing in, in this Kali Yuga with love and affection. Chari bhav diya na chamu. They will do kirtan, nam shankirtan, as a shakhata, as a mother, as a beloved, as dasya. With this relation, they will chant, they will dance and do. When anyone is calling me, my mother is calling me, then he may tell that, Oh Narayan, come, but in the mood of son, that he is my son. But if my friends are calling me Narayan, then in the moods of friend. And when my wife will call, then he will call in a way of like has been moved. And if any servant, see Narayan Maharaj like that. I've been some affluence of Marjada. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he is bestowing his mercy with love and affection, any one should do Kirta. Advaita Chaj cannot do this. It is impossible for him. There is some difference of the Nam Kirtan produced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and other Mahavishnus. Here he is in 26, he is telling, Jugudharma Varvartam Hat Anshahaite Amapina Anna Naredite Praja Premadite. What meaning? My plenary portions can establish the principles of religion for each age. No one but me, however, can bestow the kind of loving service performed by the residents. Who is Christ. telling this? Krishna. Krishna himself. And after that, he will take the form of Gauranga. He is thinking where? In Aprakat Praja. Like this. In Srimad Bhagavati has been told, Shant avatara bhava pankajana bhasya sarvato bhadra krishnana anna kova latasvati premada bhavati. There are so many incarnations of Krishna. In fact, what? Manifestations of Krishna. But they cannot give actual love and affection. Only Krishna can give love and affection even to plants, creepers, trees, animals, and he had done when he was going to Vrindavan. All were tempted. Trees also, bears also, tigers, lions, sharks, snakes, all were tempted. Advaita Chal cannot do this. So he, is, he prayed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to Krishna that you should descend to this world, otherwise I will destroy the whole world. He can, he is powerful to destroy. But, also, give. but he cannot give this. Only Krishna can give. That is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
with his associates from Golok Vrindavan, like Srimati Radhika, in the shape of Gadadha, Sarup Damodar, he was the shape of, he was Lalita, Vishakha, Vishakha as Rayaramananda, Rup Manjari, Rup Goswami, Rati Manjari, like this, he descended. He also took with him the devotees or the uh, associates of Nishingma, Nishingadev, Narayan, Ram, and all other. Like Prahlad Maharaj came in the shape of Haridashtra. Brahma came and mixed in that Haridashtra. Also Hanuman came as Murari Gupta. Jai Vijaya came Jagai Madhai. Chaitanya Mahatma distributed to all others some he gave salvation. Vaikunthagati, like Jai Vijay, who are Jagai Madhai, at once they were liberated again. They were not uh, like uh, conditioned soul. They were playing, playing a role of conditions, but actually they were not fallen. So, Kali Yuga Dharma Namera Prachar Tathalagi Pitabharna Chaitanya Vata. Then come to fourth. Chaturtha Shloka Arth E Kailasar Nam Prem Pracharite E Avata. Read. The meaning. Fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth chapter, fifth paragraph. Chapter four. I, I have given the essential meaning of the fourth verse. This incarnation descends to propagate the chanting of the holy name and to spread love of God. Any purport? Nothing. No purport. Satya. Ehi hetu. Kintu taha pahiranga iho pahiranga ar ek hetu suna ache antaranga. Although this is true, this is but the external reason for the Lord's incarnation. Please hear one other reason, the confidential reason for the Lord's appearance. Shayam bhagwane karma nahe bhar haran. Siti karta vishnu karen jagat paan. Last one, purport. Purport? Last one. In the third chapter, fourth verse, it has been clearly said that Lord Chaitanya appeared to distribute love of Krishna and the chanting of his transcendental holy name, Hare Krishna. That was the secondary purpose of Lord Chaitanya's appearance. What did you That is the secondary purpose. Gon, gon, what's it, Gona? Gona Karan. Why he told the second, secondary? <coughs> because... Was it secondary? Yes. Yes. But so many persons are telling that, oh, this is wrong. Because they have not read the books of Swamiji properly. So why it is secondary? Ah, perfect, you can go. go on. That was the secondary purpose of Lord Chaitanya's appearance. The real reason is different, as we shall see in this chapter. Mm. That's it, that's it. So, the preachings of our uh, Guru Parampara line, all Acharyas had two these things, two things, outwardly and inwardly. Outwardly for all, beginners, not beginners, who are bimuks, unmuk for them. It is essential to give them nam preaching, but yet it is secondary. 
there is something hidden in this, what he wants to give. What he wanted to give? Yes, this, this is more essential. So, Swayam Bhagavan ne karma nahi bhaar haran, isthiti karta bishnu karen jagat pala. The scriptures proclaim that Lord Krishna previously descended to take away the burden of the earth. To take away this burden, however, is not the work of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna. The maintainer, Lord Vishnu, is the one who protects the universe. Kintu Krishna rei hai, jai hai, avatar kal, bhar haran kal, tate hai ramishal. But the time to lift the burden of the world, mixed with the time for Lord Krishna's incarnation. We see that Krishna killed Kans, Agasu, Bakasu, and all the demons. He fought the battle of Mahabharata. And by his associate, Bhim, Arjun, and others, he killed so many lakhs and lakhs soldiers and so many strong personality of persons like Bhishma, Karana, Drona, and all others. Actually, Krishna killed them or anyone else? Who killed? Vishnu. Vishnu. We see that Asasthama killed uh, <coughs> five, sons. So, five sons and also so many soldiers, especially who killed uh, Dronacharya. What name? The son of Drupad. Drishtadim. And all others. Like ships. Bhed Bakari. He killed. In the night. But actually, who killed? Krishna. Who killed? Shankar killed. Because he is the dead. Deity of destroyer. When Asthama was dishonored by Pandavas and they took their money, money, money means jewel, he became very furious and he went to him all of that once and worshipped Shankar so much and he became pleased. He told that 41, I want to kill all the Pandavas and his dynasty. And all the Yodha. Soldiers. Eh? Soldiers. Soldiers of Pandavas. You cannot do. You cannot kill five, five Pandavas. But others you can do. And I will have to come in you. Through you. I will do through you. Because a time has come to finish all these things. Krishna wants this. So, he came in the body of Aswasthama. And he did so. But we see that Aswasthama is doing, killing all. Arjuna and Bhim are killing so many warriors and soldiers, but anyone can see that, understand that they are not doing anything, A, B, C, D. Krishna is doing. Once, before the battle of Mahabharata, a very strong personality of soldier came and he told Krishna, uh, Krishna told that, who are you? I am the son of son of Bhim. The name of the son of Bhim was Ghatapcha and my name is, I am son of Ghatapcha and my name is Barbari. 
I know archery more than anyone in this world. I know Bhishma is so powerful and he knows archery more than anyone. But I know more than him. He can destroy both sided persons, all soldiers. In one minute, Dodachar can do it in five minutes. Karna can do it in ten minutes. But I can do it like blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. Blink of eye. Can you show? Yes, I can show. How can you do? He took an arrow and bow and arrow. And he did it very softly. There was some color in the end of his arrow. And it touched all hard here. And this reddish color was there. I, said, I have only done this. And if you allow me, I can finish all. Then Krishna took a chakra. And at once, and his body and head was separated. And then head was telling, Oh Krishna, why do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I have come to support Pandavas. And very quickly, I could have defeated all Kauravas. But I don't know why you do it. But please, I want to pray one thing, that my head should be here on a, hill. On a, a very uh, high place. There is no hill in Kurukshetra, in high place. So that may I, I can see how they are fighting, fighting and who is doing, and who is best so, be. Hero. 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 Krishna told this yes. And he kept his head on a very high place. And when Mahabharata war was finished, then Bain told that I won the race. None is equal to me. Arjun told, I won the this race. I am hero of this. Battle. Battle. And they began to quarrel. And if Krishna was not there, then their both had been finished. But Krishna came in the middle and told, Oh, I want to know that who is the hero of this battle. So we must go to the what, grandson of Bhim. Barbaric and he is looking everything and he is so a strong personality and he is true, so we should go. They went there and Krishna asked, Who is the hero of this battle? Who owned this battle? He told that I saw that Arjun Bhim and Karna Bhim, Bhishma, all were ignificant. They were nothing. I saw that Krishna is doing it alone, all these things. <laughs> so Krishna is the hero of this man. But Narada will see not like this. What you will see? That Krishna is not, uh, not aware of this battle. Only Mahavishnu or Shankar and all are this in Krishna and they are doing all this. Their Krishna is sitting in Vrindavan, always playing, gambling with the gopis and he is defeated by them and they are clapping and they are praising Srimati Radhikada, you have defeated. So Krishna had no time to come to the battle and doing so. So here also, we are seeing that Krishna had defeated so many 
or killed so many demons like Agasur, Bakasur, Putana and all others. But actually Krishna had not done anything. Who did it? Who did it? Mahavishnu. His what? Um, there. So some Mota Buddhi Wala. Thick-headed people. <laughs> <laughs> they will see that uh, the, the object of the Swamiji was to cut the arguments of Mayabadi, Yogi, Karmi, Jnani and all other things. His was his more uh, main idea was to do this. And he preached Kirtan here and there. But I see that those who were doing kirtan at <coughs> beginning were there. They are not there. It may be some of some of them have been there. But where now they are? Why not there? Doing kirtan in streets as they were doing? Why? So his main object was to give that uh, eternal and transcendental love of Praja. But it was essential to cut the jungles, forests and all these unwanted things. So he was doing. But his main object was to give love and affection which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to give this thing. So here he is telling Prem naam pracharite ei avatar satya ei hetu kintu taha bahiranga. It is bahiranga. Bahiranga means? External. External. What is that thing? That je lagi kahi avatar kahi se mool karan. Fourteenth. Yes. First, the killing of the demons is but secondary work. I shall now speak of the main reason for the Lord's incarnation. Krishna killed them. It is true. But Krishna never killed them. Who killed? Mahavishnu. When Krishna comes, then Mahavishnu, Nishinga Dev, Narayan, Ram, Nishinga all comes in the body of Krishna. And they do their works. So, Prem ras nirjas karite aswadan, ragmar bhakti, loke karte pracharan, rasik sekhar krishna parama karun, e dui hetu, haite ichar duva. The Lord's desire to appear was born from two reasons. He wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God, and he wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform of spontaneous attraction. Thus he is known as supremely jubilant and as the most merciful of all. Rashik Shekhar Paramukarun, that has come? Yes. Any purport? Yes, hmm. purport. <clears throat> During the period of Lord Krishna's appearance, the killing of Asuras or non-believers such as Kangsa and Jarasandha was done by Vishnu, who was within the person of Sri Krishna. Such apparent killing by Lord Sri Krishna was a matter of course as an incidental activity. But the real purpose of Lord Krishna's appearance was to stage a dramatic performance of his transcendental pastimes at Brajabhumi, thus exhibiting the highest limit of transcendental mellow in the exchanges of reciprocal love between the living entity and the Supreme Lord. These reciprocal exchanges of mellows are called Raga Bhakti, or devotional service to the Lord in transcendental rapture. Lord Sri Krishna wants to make known to all the conditioned souls that he is more attracted by Raga Bhakti than Vidhi Bhakti or devotional service under scheduled regulations. It is said in the Vedas, Raso Vai Saha, the absolute truth is the reservoir for all kinds of reciprocal exchanges of loving sentiments. He is also causelessly merciful and he wants to bestow upon us this privilege of Raga Bhakti Thus he appeared as his own internal energy. He was not forced to appear by any extraneous force. Can we finish? 
briefly the essence of this purport, what Swamiji told. <coughs> explaining that the purpose for Krishna's appearance is not um, either to establish yoga dharma nor to uh, destroy the miscreants. Very important thing. Don't sleep. Go on. <clears throat> that the purpose for Krishna's appearance, as we've been discussing, there's external appearance, uh, external cause, and the internal cause. So externally, it seems that Krishna appears in order to establish dharma, uh, yoga dharma, and also to uh, destroy the miscreants. But <clears throat> Krishna Skaraj Goswami is explaining that this is just external uh, cause, and that. Although when Krishna appears, he does, in fact, kill different demons, but this is not done by him directly. It's done by uh, Vishnu, who is appearing within him. And that the real purpose for the Lord's appearance is in uh, tasting the different mellows of exchange with his devotees in the different rasas, and also to bestow upon the living entities the opportunity to taste these various moods. Aswarja sithil preme nahi mor prita. Aswarja gyanet isab jagat misrita. Aswarja sithil preme nahi mor prita. All the universe is filled with the conception of my majesty, but love weakened by that sense of majesty does not satisfy me. What is the meaning? That in the material world, Everyone is serving God, thinking that He is great, that everything that has emanated from Him, He is the controller, He is the maintainer, He, he has uh, six opulences. They're worshipping Him with this idea. But when this conception is there in the worshipper, then their love becomes shrunken, it becomes weakened and made feeble. And that type of love, it does not satisfy Krishna. We are worshipping him in temple or in our homes in any altar, giving flowers, arti, offering preparations and by so many ways. Doing dandot pranam sastang uh, so many times, doing parikrama of temple But it may be that our motive is something else. What motive? Like through it may be. Or others, it may be. Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhan Sarsati Goswami Thakur was, has told so many things. Be careful when worshipping. Ami kola khai nai. Means, I have not, not ate bananas. If any, any devotee doing arjan, he was in the room of Thakurji temple. And he closed the door. Closed, it is right, closed the door. And he was alone, but he saw that very, um, very good or very beautiful, very tasteful banana rose there. There were more than twelve. Then he could not check himself, and he saw that deity cannot see, <laughs> and he took one beautiful and he take four, half of the banana in his mouth and in the meantime anyone stroke the door knock the door oh pujari ji what are you doing come on <laughs> then he, he told that he 
thought that, oh, he may see that what I am doing. Then he began to tell it's himself that I am not um, eating banana. <laughs> So what is this? He was telling another thing that uh, badam, very hard from oxide, very as, uh, very strong, like strong, very hard to break. But uh, it gives so much power when anyone can drink. And he was doing archan. In the meantime, he saw that there were so many that things. How to take it? He was alone. He also thought that, oh, these deities are like stone or anything. How they can see? So he took one salagram bigger one and kept uh, on the ground and he took another bigger sila and he gave that to on and he began to right. to take. What is this? If you are serving Gurudev, if you are doing archan but having the modes to test yourself Uh, a third class uh, devotee cannot check all these things. They will do these offenses. They are bound to do. They must be Kanishta Dikari. Kanishta Dikari have so much firm belief, but a strong belief in deity that they are Krishna himself. But the Hole is there, there abhav is there, lacking is there. That they don't respect devotees. They don't. But Kanishta Dikari are also good one. Not like Mayavadi and all others. They have so much faith. They cannot do all these things. But these doing and by doing so offenses they have going to hell. I am going to hell. So Prabhupada has clearly given all these ideas. If Guru has engaged you, you and anything to distribute books and you are distributing and collecting money and if any single pipes you will keep in your pocket for your taste, then you must be punished. And they are doing and punished, punished, they are punished. You are not the owner of that box. Oh, half I should be to company and half I should have. And after some time, they take all and leave the temple and go to hell. So we should be very careful in these things. So, outer is outer drishti cone is not everything. We should try to know the real interviews, inner world, interior thing. So Krishna is telling that if he is doing okay and doing by bhakti, bhakti, regulative bhakti, anyone, I may be satisfied to some extent, but not fully, because they will do dandavat prana. That oh, he is God of God. And myself, so low, insignificant. I am so uh, aparadhi, offender. offender, and all these things. So my satisfaction is not to full extent. 
what he wants? He wants that uh, Jagatik Bandhu ki bhati hamari koi shewa kar. He would serve. He should serve or he should love as a worldly, worldly friend. friend. Worldly friend. Like father, mother. Sometimes you can see that father, mother and grandfather, mother, they play with their boys, little boys. Like friend, more than friend. Sometimes gopis are playing with Krishna defeating and defeated. Like worldly, kya? Relationship. Worldly relationship. relationship. Like worldly relationship. Klish, Klish wants this thing. Love and affection like this. So, Aswar Shithil Preme Nahi Gorupita. Amare Swarmane Apna Kehin Tar Preme Bosh Ami Nahoi Adhin Amakate Jeje Bhakta Bhav Bhaje Jeje Bhave Tare Se Se Bhave Bhaji Amar Shabhave. If one regards me as the Supreme Lord and himself as a subordinate, I do not become subservient to his love, nor can it control me. In whatever... This is the mood of Krishna and it came in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This one. Go on. In whatever transcendental mellow my devotee worships me, I reciprocate with him. That is my natural behavior. Jai Jathang Maam Prapatyante Tam Tathai Vobhajam Myam Mam Vatmanu Arvantate Manushya Apap Sarvashar in whatever way my devotees surrender unto me, I reward him accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects, O son of Krita. Krishna is telling, those who are worshipping me like Brahma, I become Brahma, Nirvishesh. Those who want to serve me as a Narayan, I become Narayan for them. Those who want to be serve Krishna in Marjada, in awe and reverence. Roots and reverence. Then I become Ram. When anyone wants to serve me like a husband, then I become Dwarkadish. But I cannot repay gopis and gopis there. Never. More putra. More shakha, more pranapati, ei bhave je more, kare shuddha bhakti, apna ke bado mane, ama ke samahi, shei bhave ami hai taharate. If one cherishes pure... You should say, you should take this very patiently, these things. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, thinking of me as his son, his friend, or his beloved, Regarding himself as great and considering me his equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. Ei bhave jai kare more shuddha bhakti. What is the meaning of shuddha bhakti? Pure devotion, bhakti. Here he is telling this is shuddha bhakti. Otherwise, not they are shuddha bhakti. Regulative bhakti is not shuddha bhakti. Mane pure. What is pure bhakti? Here. Ei bhave jai more kare shuddha bhakti mane braj prem is really pure bhakti. And to attain that bhakti may take the process of regulative bhakti and those who are so fortunate they will follow raganga bhakti. So pure bhakti, he is telling that this is pure bhakti, otherwise not pure bhakti. That may be. But we can tell that oh, all things which are going, it will take us to Vrindavan. Any far it is, it has been known. Even what Prahlad Maharaj told, Nainkna, mm, Kansa Bhakti, that is Samadam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaradam Pavra Shevanam Vishnu here, Ram, Nishinga, Narayan and all incarnations. 
If they are hearing of all these things, Narayan, 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 Srimad Narayan, 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 Srimad Narayan, 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 Srimad Narayan, 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 Srimad Narayan, 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 so this is not Sutta. Shravanam Kirtana. But anyone, Sutta Bhakti like, oh, uh, like, Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhameti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhameti Like this Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhameti Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhameti But if he is praying like this but thinking that Govinda Dham or Madhavi is Narayan. Then what? Like Brahma. Oh, Namaskar to you. Then he will cannot go. Anyone worshipping Radha and Krishna deities, worshipping, it will not take you. Because you are worshipping Radha and Krishna, but you you can pray sometimes that, oh, Radha and Krishna, save me, save me, save me. You can tell. I am in danger, I am, my life in danger. Hmm? What Vajvasi will do if any danger will come? Oh, Girat Maharaj, you <coughs> should come and save me. Oh, you also save this little boy. Or beloved Krishna, you should save beloved, my beloved Krishna. To whom? To Maharaj. They can also pray to Nishinga Dev. Oh Nishinga Dev, save my this little child Jasoda metal like this. Oh save my this little boy. This is Braj Bhakti. And if you are praying like this, Govinda Dham Udarvad Madhaviti and serving Radha and Krishna conjugal, even it is by the Bhakti regulated. And you are serving to and doing archan to Narayan, not to Nanda Kishore. Hmm? No. So, if you go deeply in this vichar, uh, in this siddha, then you can know. It, that is why I always emphasis on that. You should have your ultimate goal of your sadhana. And then you can think about your process, how to have that thing. Otherwise you cannot do it. Here he is telling all these things. Apna ke bado mane shuddha bhakti. So there, what is shuddha bhakti? What Chaitanya Charitam is telling? You can tell that, oh, regulated processes are also shuddha bhakti. But he is telling that. It is pure bhakti. You can think. But really it is not. Once I was arguing with my Gurudev about Madhur Rash. Any subject came. He was telling that Madhur Rash is always in Prajadham. Not anywhere else. Just so try to go deep. Maturas not in Sita. In Shatabama Rukmini, they are only Dashis. If Krishna will chastise them, then at once their man and everything will go away here and there. But in Prajati, he cannot do like that. If Krishna will tell that, oh, go away from here, then Gopi will tell that this place is your father, Shadhu. <laughs> Where should I? You give me any cloth or any ornament or anything, 
we are not in your home. <laughs> but you cannot come in our colony, you should go away from here. Advance and they will order Rupmanjari Rati Manjari, oh, take this person and <laughs> then Krishna will do like this. So these are actually pure thing. He told me that one day, don't be worried, one day you will know. You will know that Madhu Rashi is not there. All they are of Dasya Rash. All the Rukmini, Shattabama, all Uddha, all are Dasya. So it is not Madhuras. When it will be Madhuras? In Vrindavan. And Tapast Madhuras will be in Srimati Vyadya. At last, I had so much faith in my Guru words. I took it in conclusion, but I don't realize that at time. At that time. But now by his grace, I am realizing that actually Madhu Rush and Shuddha Bhakti, pure Bhakti is in Vrindavan. Not in Narayan Lok, Vaikuntha Lok. There is a regulative prem. Comes from regulative Bhakti. So he is telling me, Apna ke bado mane, Ama ke samahi, Yehi bhaave je hai ami tahar adhi. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, thinking of me as his son, his friend, or his beloved, regarding himself as great, and considering me his equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. Tumi Amisham Priyajati Maan Kari Kare Bhasan Pedistuti Haite Hare Sei Morma. My friends climb upon my shoulders in pure friendship, saying, What kind of a big man are you? You and I are equal. Who are telling? Sometimes. At once, Krishna will run away, but they will follow Krishna and they will catch hold of Krishna and they will forcibly climb on the soldiers of Krishna. Why are you even not giving, repaying us? You have... You will defeated in wrestling. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, in this. This is friendly manner. If my beloved consort reproaches me in a sulky mood, that steals my mind from the reverent hymns of the Vedas. Ei suddha bhakti laya karimu avata karimu avibhido adbhut bihar <clears throat> Taking these pure devotees with me, I shall descend and spoil No, no, a Shuddha Bhakti Lanya. Shuddha Bhakti. Go on. Taking these pure devotees with me, uh, I shall descend and sport in various wonderful ways, unknown even in Vaikuntha. But here it is written that a Shuddha Bhakti of Braja taking in his heart and giving his thinking something from this. I have descended to this world. I will descend to this world. Suddha Bhakti. Ragatmika Bhakti is Suddha Bhakti. Yeah. Who are doing Ragatmik Bhakti? All the Prajabhasi. Can you sing devotees? Some mistake. Not mistake. <laughs> Mode is the same. Same Mode. We should try to reconcile all these things. He is telling that is why he took all these associates from Braja. That's not his meaning. His, his meaning is this. Same meaning. But pure bhakti, I am giving a stress on pure bhakti. What is pure bhakti? We can see and consider us that we are doing Suddha bhakti. <coughs> you can now. Uh, yeah. Parameter. With parameter you should think that whether and we are doing or not. Yes. Platform. What we are? If we are chanting, not that platform. Where we are worshipping, or we are doing Suddha Bhakti 
as it has been told in Shastra and Swamiji has told we are doing this. But actually, when we go deep, then we will see that, oh, nothing time. It comes in reflective. Some are, I know, some of the Swamiji's disciples left Swamiji, that he is not Raganuga Bhakta. And they went to Babaji and they became Babaji Chela. <laughs> and they uh, began to do that Raganuga. And in two, three months, they left everything and they wanted to search any wife and thus they went to heaven. So that is not process. Process, Rasila Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, all has the written process. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mood was to give this, this mood. And his all Guru Parampara Acharya were in this mood to give this thing. But if he will tell that he has only come to give this thing only, oh, chanting this and doing Kirtan only. Are why, he, why, why he has told like so? You should go deep and see, then you can realize all this thing. Yes. Today. Gaur Prevanandi! We should try to go deep and think and do all our activities in the house to know the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the mood to know the mood of Gurudev, not only outwardly but inwardly. And then you should fix your process, how to have these things. Kirtan. Jai Jai Radha Ramana Haribo Jai Jai Radha Ramana